and welcome to another episode of Nerdy Unreal Dev. And today's another Niagara video. Uh, this time we'll be looking at how to make your particles glow using the Niagara system. Um, what you see here is just a little test area. And I've actually got an emitter all set up over here. It's just the fountain changed a couple things, made it colorful. But we want to make this glow. So we're going to go down to this little render thing. And we want light renderer. And you can already see a few settings. Effects translucency, radius scale, color add. Um, those are all things you might see in Cascade. But we don't just need the light render. Uh, we also need in particle update, particles light radius. And this is under another set variables. I just have a habit of popping everything above solve forces. Particles light radius. So what this does is it just sets the light radius of each individual particle uh, per update. And then this just allows it. So we'll say the emitter. And then now for Niagara, in order to put any of your systems in the scene, you need the emitters to be in a Niagara system. So we're going to right click. FX, Niagara system, and you can just create a Niagara, Niagara system uh, from a couple of the pre-built emitters. Uh, I, for every few options, I have show engine and plugin content on. So you could create a new system from any of the emitters that already exist. We want this one, so you click it, green button, OK, name it, open it up, and you can also add emitters uh, just by right clicking in the uh, Niagara system. So you could combine emitters. So now that it's in a Niagara system, you can bring it into the scene. And you can see a kind of uh, white glow going on, I believe, if I turn. Getting kind of a glow. Uh, you can change in the renderer. Uh, here's the thing about Nair. You can change the emitter, and this will change it for the emitter in all the systems. Or you can change the emitter in the system, and it'll only change the emitter in that system. But we can add some color there. And, you get to, and now you can see more of the uh, blue showing up. As a light. And this is good for like if you're working with fire or anything else that needs uh, to emit light. I've done it for fireflies. So there you go. Using light renderer and light radius, you can have your particles emit their own light. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, please subscribe.